And welcome to this week's edition of the John Peacock Coaches Show. I'm John Masoni here with Venice Indian head football coach John Peacock. And coach, uh, here we sit in bogeys. Uh, a cloudy night uh, for normal. It feels like we got a cold front coming. Uh, we wish we were, but it's still. I'll, I'll take I'll take cloudiness, and it probably makes everything a little little more palatable as far as the heat is concerned. But we're coming up on a very hot day on Friday night when we got a very big game coming up against the Riverview Rams. But first, before we get into that, we'll talk about Friday night's uh, game out in Powell Davis Stadium, a 54-0 win over River Ridge, uh, River Ridge Royal Knights. Uh, yeah, we came out, came out and played well in all, all three phases of the game. We started fast. We kind of did what we were supposed to do. Uh, River Ridge was, you know, you know they actually they, they played hard. They had some good players, but uh, – we overmatched. We're they're a little bit overmatched when yeah. we played us, but um, I thought what, you know we came out and did our job really. Yeah, no, I thought I thought from from the perspective of the way the tackling, the the, the crispness of the offense, uh, all that stuff, it just seemed it, everything seemed to be at a little bit a quicker pace and a little, a little more confidence with, with the team. Yeah, and then um, you know the only only two bad takeaways were that we had two turnovers, and um, other than that, I thought that the defense played well. Uh, we had some takeaways on defense. Uh, special teams played well. They did. And uh, we did a nice job on offense moving the ball. And, um, again, we spread the ball around to numerous receivers. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of rushing yards, but we had a lot of short fields. Defense did such a good job. We had a lot of and short fields. You, had a, you, had, you didn't have a lot of plays either. You have 43 right. plays total in the, in the whole game. So it's kind of hard to get those numbers up there when you're not, you were normal and maybe anywhere between 55 and 65 plays. We've been up this. We've been running about 73. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're, you're, you're even higher than that. So you're going you're gonna to see that a little bit. But otherwise, I thought the despair, there was, there was a good, uh, you had both um, Jaden Glasser and Ryan Downs having, a, having a over 100 yards passing yeah. each. You had the, the a team oriented. You had you had over 125, 30 yards of uh, of offensive rushing. So you can look at it and say, based on the, the way things are, you the balance was there. Like you said, the ball was spread around, and you you, you can live with the fact that the, maybe the totals weren't as, as high as normal. Right. So, and then River Ridge obviously came in. Uh, I mean, again, they, they, you're right. They had some nice. They had some nice athletes. They they had some. They had some stuff that they could do. But I thought overall, I thought the defense played its best game. Yeah, the defense played well. Again, we had I think we had three interceptions, um, one return for a touchdown. Yes. Eli Seed um, return for yeah, a touchdown. So it was uh, that was nice to see. No, I think we had three. I think um, Fleming, Eli Seed, and then I think Zarkowitz had one okay. uh, late in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but again, but that that's to see the turnovers. But I thought get, I thought everybody was getting the ball really well. I, I and that that lent itself to what you said about special teams too. A lot of gang tackling, um, a lot of things that you, that you want to see no matter right. who you're playing. Uh, that's going to bode well moving forward with that. That's the kind of mentality they're going to play with, right. with that. So what we'll do is we'll take our first break of the night, come back, and we'll do our highlights from Friday night's game with River Ridge, and then we'll come back and we will talk a lot about the, the matchup uh, coming Friday night. Riverview Rams come to Venice at Powell Davis Stadium on Friday night to face the Venice Indians. With that, we'll take our first break. We'll be back here at Bogies in a little bit. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet. State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here at the John Peacock Coaches Show. And Coach, uh, River Ridge, 54 to nothing. I know there's got to be a lot of highlights, so we'll get to that as soon as possible and see if we can see how the Indians were dominated on Friday night. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Offense did a good job, you know, setting the tempo. You see here Ryan Downs on a um, really good little, play, little hand sweep. You see how tough a run area is. Gets about 16 yards, um, and we, we were able to, to take advantage of some things we saw in film. And you'll see right here, uh, Ryan finds uh, Zakarl Lewis for a big gain on a uh, bootleg yeah. pass here. Zakarl was nothing but big plays. He had two humongous yeah. plays. So you see, he has a nice catch here. He had a big run. Yeah. Carl had a big run. Another big catch later on. I think he had 
maybe three catches. You see right there, Jackson Scott getting there for a big block. And he's, he's the yard after, yard after catch guy. He's the yak guy. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, for he's, sure. he's really, really crafty in the open field and can make some people miss for sure. You see right here, Ryan Downs, and he finishes off with a, yeah, with nice a nice run. touchdown in the first drive. Uh, I think we scored, I think it was two minutes. You know, there was two minutes oh, off the no, clock, maybe. One minute and three seconds. One minute and three seconds, yeah. yeah. So we got down the, the field pretty quickly, um, able to get some balls off and snaps off. And and then defense came out and uh, kind of did, played the same way. You know, they were milking the clock a little bit, waiting for the – Yeah, run, I mean, we, the whole we time, talked about it on, on, on the live stream, and it's it kind of – that was kind of the – hopefully shorten the game a little bit, Yeah. You know? I'm going to say that Shari comes up with a big sack here. Yeah, it's all three of them are kind of combining on the sack, Eli Jones yep. and, and Ryan Daly, which is good. I mean, it's nice to see them all get there. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's pursuit of the ball. It doesn't say, oh, shari has got it. They all were there to make right. sure they, wrap, they mopped it up. Then here's the run by uh, Zakarl here, the nice reverse here to him. This was this was the shortest play he had in the, in the game. <laughs> yeah, again, like he he's gonna make some people miss, and uh, we got downfield a big big play there for him. It's always the yard after catch guy can do it when he's sort of like he, he's a tough runner. That's not just elusive; he's a tough runner as well. Right. Very very few carries for Gator and, and Dooney in the game. I think Gator had, had five, five and, and Dooney had one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they didn't have a whole lot of carries Friday night, but they did a, did a nice job when they did get opportunity. And see a nice a catch throw. by Gasati. Yeah, he didn't sell the. I mean, he, he didn't really put his arms up, so the kid didn't know when yeah. the ball was coming. So that kind of worked for his advantage. I see we got a little light show going uh, too. You it worked really well bit. too. Yeah. There was a lot. There was a lot of uh, anxiousness in the press box to make sure that yeah. that thing doesn't keep on going, but it worked it worked well. It was good. You see, yeah, they're, they're running clock right here. Just trying yeah, to get it down to the clock. So the ref put his hand up, and they were snapping. You see, we had great pursuits of the ball. You see Carter, Carter Dalton, Dalton come up with a big hit. Carter Dalton with his best game of the, of the year. Back on offense. I think Jace Barksdale here uh, has a nice, nice catch and some yards after the catch here. He does a nice job. You look, I guess, that's You see – Four or five guys to come, you know, you're yeah. carrying downfield. That means you're running hard, man. That's that's that's, and that's that's your wide receivers running like that. That's great. And they use two quarterbacks for a while. I think this is that nine and fourteen. Yeah, this is the second one. Yeah. And then they had that, that running back. He looked. His name is Patterson. He looked good. Yeah, he but wasn't, he just, a, he he wasn't a bad got, player. He, he just never got it, got, it, got it going. Is this one of the interceptions right here? No, this is a, no. another play by yep. Ryan Daly in the backfield. Yeah, they did it. Him like I Moss. said, yeah, we did a nice job against yeah. the run, the pass, uh, overall, just everything defensively played really well. That's good pressure there by Eli C. Or, or Eli um, Jones. Jones. Yeah, and good coverage there by uh, Carter Dalton. I think they tried a little, little kind of wheel route on him, and he he was right there. I think this is a touchdown pass here. Yeah, it's yeah. Just a Carl. Yeah. screen. He makes a great play here. Makes some people miss. As he puts that foot in the ground, and then it's it's kind of over. And the play was sold really well. I mean, uh, Jamaris put his arms up. He was able yep. to catch it, and they did a little spin and. You can see the like the whole field just opened up. Yeah, and there's a light show there. There's see a that light show. I wonder if people thought there was something wrong <laughs> at some point in time. <laughs> this is a big play here. Yeah, they dropped the punt there, and we were able to make a play in the backfield. That's why I was saying we a lot of short fields offensively. Yeah, yeah. And I'm and the, the punter was in rocked on a hard place. Try to punt it; it's probably gonna it might get blocked. Right. So he didn't really make a bad play. Just didn't just didn't get anywhere. Again, I think that was Carter Dalton. He made some. He made a lot of nice plays. Yeah, I mean, it, he, he was active as heck uh, this game, which is good to see. This is Ryan Ryan Matulovich getting in the action. A nice, nice yeah. throwing catch for a touchdown. Yeah, and I, you know Ryan showed some speed there because the guy had the angle on him. He started, and he, Ryan got ahead of him. So good for him. He was the leading receiver, by the way. He, he had four catches. 
Yeah, I saw that. He had, yeah. had the most receptions. I think Zakarl had the most yards, though, He right? did, 111, yeah. yeah. And there's the interception yeah, right there. Right. That's, right. I'm so glad he got got the end zone. He's a really, really hardworking kid, great kid. Yeah, he did. It was funny because like at first he thought, oh, no, and then he just got it. it not a lot of pursuit. Quarterback had no chance with four, four blockers in front right. of him. Just don't fall down and you're going to score. And it's good for the defense getting the board, too. That always that's a, that's a good thing to see them, you know, be, at, be able to make a play. Uh, that's that's going to bode well moving forward. And you've got some backups coming in here now, I believe. And Ryan Daly. Another, ta yeah, another tackle for loss. Got Lee in there, got a couple different guys. So, and that was all. That was a lot of the of the, of the night for for uh, River Ridge. A lot of a lot of guys in the backfield at the mesh point. Right. A lot of a lot of guys are make, with penetration. Good play there. Yeah, another tackle for loss. Uh, like I said, we had some, just some good job. They did a good job getting to the ball. And, it's Brantley making the yeah, play making there. plays. I think this might be an interception by uh, Chad Fleming. Yeah, yeah, right there. I thought he was going to take it to the house, and he he kind of he kind of went wide a little bit there. I thought if he would went a little straighter, he might have got in. But right. nonetheless, it's still a, still a good play for him. And I think this is where um, this is uh, yeah, Dorian Jones, Jones gets in there. Yeah, I think that's his second touchdown of the year. I, I have to get used to the nickname. I got used to Macho. Macho. Yeah, Macho second. I think that's the second score of the year right there. Does not run like a freshman at all. No, no, not at all. Good play there by uh, Judkins. Yeah, Judson had a nice Judkins. sack there. Yeah. Able to get everyone got to play. You know, we're in the second half now. Everyone got to play. Um, and uh, these kids played hard. I thought I mean, they all played. Yeah. I thought I thought Reed and and uh, yeah, they Hupp, did a nice job. They all played. They Hupp, played well. There's Hup there on the tackle. Yep, and a nice play. It's nice when the everyone gets in, gets get, get involved and yeah, and, and be and, part and of it. Yeah, they 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 got a lot of time on the field, which is really good. And there's Downs with the throw. Downs, yeah, nice throw and catch to, with uh, Matulovic there. The first one he threw a little earlier, they come out of his hand wrap. But the rest of them started coming out of once he got going. They, yeah, they no, came out once of his he got comfortable, well. he threw yeah. some nice balls. That's a nice run by Macho. He runs hard, runs with a good pad level. You know, he's going to be he's going to yeah. be a special player for sure. He definitely definitely has that that look about him. And this is uh, another touchdown for him, or is it a two point conversion? I forget what it was, but no touchdown. Yeah, that was a touchdown. touchdown. Yeah, we didn't. I don't think we got the two point conversion. We got a penalty. Um, yeah, successful on one two-point right. conversion. Yeah. That was a great throw Yeah, on the run. Put it right there. And then a little, a little too much yeah, creative silliness. celebration. We're going we're gonna to yeah. fix that. That's, uh, that's, that's, you don't want that happening no. you know, and moving forward. Again, the, the two's got in there and you know made some plays. That's uh, Reed there. Reed, yep. He definitely held his own when he got in the, in the game. Jackson Moss in there. You know, he did. A, he's been doing a nice job at practice too. You can yeah, see he's hustling in there. Zarkowitz yeah. had a big game too. He was. He made a lot of tackles in that second half, and he played well on special teams as well. I think this is getting towards the end, but a nice, nice run there by Dorian. And I'll let you love seeing the, the, the guys with the 53s and 65s and 78s downfield yeah. blocking for them. Yeah, you know, for just sure. watching them. He's downs on the keeper. Yeah, he, he runs hard. I love the way he, his running style. You, you, you can almost see that they're like, when, they, when he gets a little bit ahead of steam, that people are just not really willing to want to get in front of him. Yeah, he's 225. I mean, that's he's a big guy. Great catch there by Bryson Frazier. It was a nice job. I think we got a touchdown coming up here soon. Uh, Lavelle, I think, catches one. Not not here, but maybe in the next few here. Yeah, another nice run by there by Macho. I 
I think this is this the is touchdown right to Lavelle, yeah. Yeah, really nice, really nice run and throw. A little, you know, going left and puts it right on him. And, I mean, that's a great throw. Yeah, it was a great throw. He was throw. covered, and, yeah. he, it, and, you know, great route. I mean, we, we, we yeah. put it right where it, both, both players did a nice job. And right here, we're getting towards the towards the end of the game. I think they were able to get their backups in a little bit as well. Yeah, I think they they, they, they were still going with the ones until about maybe just the beginning and end of the right. of the fourth quarter or end of the third. And once again, it's Reed and I think uh, Joseph in the game there. So, so as you can see, coach, there was a ton of you know you had a ton of highlights, and it was really good to see everybody sort of raised their performance up just a little bit. The twos, the defense, the right. especially we kind of just had a little bit more. And I think I think that comes with, you know, you you've, you every season has a beginning. You know, you got to kind of get, get the ball rolling. I think maybe it took a little longer for the ball to start rolling. And I see I see now where it seems like everybody's sort of getting comfortable with their with their assignments. Getting comfortable, it's becoming more of a reaction as opposed to a thinking process. Right, especially on the defense because you know that's all sort of like you're thinking too much and you're a step behind in a lot of cases. Yeah, you know, like I said, I thought I thought we we did a great job in all phases of the game, and I think I think it kind of is a we're in a great situation where it kind of builds up to where we're now we're getting to start our district schedule and, and then our local games here. Right now, I think that's and then that's and like I said, all their stuff. It was it was great to play those games, and you, now you're now you're really in the meat of what, what you're right. what you're going to be. So with that, we'll take a break here from Bogies and come back and talk about Friday night's game, uh, Riverview Rams again coming into town, district game rivalry, you name it. Uh, it's got a lot on the line, and it's, it's always a good game every year. So hopefully, uh, we, you know, everybody comes out on Friday night and supports us. Right. With that, we'll be back here at Bogies with the John Pietka Coaches Show in a few minutes. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here with the John Peacock Coach Show. And Coach, like I mentioned before the break, uh, Riverview Rams come to town. Uh, rivalry would be, if it wasn't a district game, it's still a rivalry game, but it is a district game these, now, and you, you know you're going to face a team that you know, you're familiar with. And that's always an interesting situation because you play somebody uh, that's good, and, you're, you're, and, you know, and they know you, you know them, and it's going to be a tussle. Yeah, you know, um, they, they have a, they've started the season off uh, great so far. They've had, they're, I think they're sitting at 3-1. and one. Uh, they had a, their only loss was the Buholtz, and today the rank power rankings came out. And uh, Buholtz is the number one team ranked in 4S. Um, they have a much better offense than they've had in the last uh, couple years. I would say this is, to be honest, this is probably the strongest Riverview team in the last 20 years. Okay. Um, okay. Just overall, as far as you know, they have a great the quarterback's been playing really well. Uh, Braxton Thomas is doing a great job you know, getting the ball out of his hands. He makes great reads. He's He's actually a, a, a dual threat guy that can run the ball as well. Um, Campbell, their wide receiver, he's kind of a legacy. His dad was um, Ant Campbell, Campbell yeah. who um, was a star at, at Riverview High School. Um, he's been making plays. And then, of course, uh, Anthony Miller, I, he might be their leading receiver or close to it, um, who played quarterback for us last year as their slot guy that they get right. screens to. And they have a running back that um, – I'm not sure of his, his, his name, but he's probably going to be the toughest runner that we've faced all year. Um, not necessarily the fastest, but he runs the ball extremely, extremely hard uh, behind his pads, and he's a hard kid to tackle. A very, very tough runner, the toughest runner that we've faced all year. And he's got a backup, too, that um, a younger kid that's his backup that can also run the ball and is well, very shifty. Yeah, we've talked about it before, but there's, there's a trend. Trends kind of trickle down from the NFL to college right. to high school. Where most people are now, it's 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 not one running back; it's two or three running backs right. of, of a certain skill level. And 
you know, it's just I think it's you know it's it's more of an attrition situation. Do you want to have somebody run the ball thirty times, or do you want to run somebody right. twenty and ten, and then you can stay fresher that way? And they have a big, big offensive line. Their uh, their offensive line coach does a great job. You can tell that they're coached up very well. The two big tight ends that they use, they use a, a two tight end set uh, quite often, and the tight ends are probably around six three, two forty. Um, you know, so they like to to line up and just say, "Hey, we're coming at yeah, you," and run yeah. the ball and. Uh, their new offensive coordinator is an absolute whiz, and uh, they do a lot of things where uh, they can. They have little options off of their off of their run game, and he does a nice job mixing it up and um, putting you in the bind. You know, they they use their two quarterbacks, you know, Anthony Miller, to to get the ball out to him, and maybe double pass and reverse passes. Sure, sure. And a lot of a lot of little twists and um, specialty stuff with the offense that, um, that 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 offense coordinator does a great job at. So we have to be prepared you know for the formations and prepared for what they're going to do um i don't know that they, they do do a no they do no huddle um and it's kind of tempo but not really tempo like our tempo but um i, I would suspect that they would just keep the same offense and kind of do the same thing they're going to put been, pressure on you with that, with yeah, that little bit of, you there, know, there's been no times huddle. in the past where they they came in and play us and they they milk the clock like yeah. uh yeah river ridge a has few done. times yeah, yeah. Few so times. i'm not sure if that's going to be their plan or not um but you know we're gonna be we're gonna be prepared for whatever they come at us with, and um, you know defensively they they're they're really strong defensively. You know Cristiani, we're familiar with him. Yeah. He's a defensive line coach, and he's got four four <laughs> studs up at front on their on their defensive line that we're gonna have to do a great job blocking. And their linebackers are tough and can run the run to the football. And you know Riverview team on defense has always been tough and we're gritty. I yeah, would say they're always gritty. Yeah, yeah, big big hitters and they're always lined up right. Um, they have some uh, good-looking DBs. They got a DB. I think he looks like he's six three or six four. I'm not really sure how tall he is, but number four looks like a really really good athletic defensive back. So they kind of got it all. You know, they have um, they have a really good kicking game. I was gonna say that isn't that yeah. their mo? It's been yeah. Like- they have a um, now. I, I haven't. I don't know. I haven't really paid too much attention on the the punts yet, but I have seen the kid warm up and he absolutely booms them uh, the punts. Uh, they have two kickers. I think the the main kicker is, was hurt. He was hurt during the beginning of the year, um, and then they have uh, a f- extra point kicker, and then they have a regular kicker. Gotcha. Uh, you gotcha. know, a kickoff kicker. So uh, they're both they're both very um, accountable, and they're both very uh, accurate with what they're doing. So you know, they have a great kicking game, and they got a great offense, and they got a great defense. You know, they don't really have any weaknesses. So you know, we're going to have to play extre- extremely extremely well. Like I said, the power rankings just came out for the FHSA, and they were we were ranked eighth, and um, Venice was ranked thirty sixth. So right, right. Um, you know we're going to have to make up some ground if we want to make the playoffs this year. Right, and like I said, in in that in the, in the area in particular, all around, we we always keep track of what's going on. It's really been a, a rise in the uh, success, let's say, of a lot of the programs in the right. area, which 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 is a great thing for for the for the, for everybody around here. When everybody's playing well, it's iron sharpens iron, you know. And all of a sudden, you got everybody kind of kind of making some moves, and uh, I'm sure that has a lot to do with what Venice has done in in, in the past. Yeah. Now they yeah. see it, and they're they all they're all thirsty for the same sort of success. But it absolutely is a, a huge game. We would be we wouldn't be telling the truth if it wasn't. Um, absolutely. It, it basically the winner of this one's going to the playoffs um, just just by looking at a you know 0 and five Sarasota team um, you know you would assume the winner of winner of the Riverview Venice game would be the winner of the district so um, and I don't want to get ahead of myself I'm just saying, yeah no you know, it, just, most it, people just, would think that and uh, and although I, I will tell you this I have seen Sarasota on film and um, you know coach. Coach is doing a great job Coach there. Phillips, Coach yeah. Phillips is, is uh, he really is. Um, I think they, you know, they need to develop some of their players. And he only, he only been there, he's only been there one year, but he has really done a fantastic job. He's got those kids playing hard. Um, they, they seem to, to know what they're doing offensively, yeah. defensively, and on special yeah. teams. And he's... He's obviously a really good football coach, and their schedule is noteworthy. They did play some really yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, schools. and they had they had Manatee on the ropes. I think they had a couple people right on the ropes yep. and uh, kind of let it get away. But um, I tell you what, and uh, Sarasota, if he sticks around, is they're going to have a good football team. Yeah, and, the, and of course, you catch them later in the year, so they're going to be a much better team than they were game one. Right, especially when they get trying to keep in there. That you're sort of figuring it out at that point, which is right. And you know, it's like, okay, we got to give some good. We have to see them down the road too. So that's that interesting. But you're right. Um, both. 
we Venice always travels well. Let's uh, the, the fan base is always well travels well. Riverview just the same though. They're they're good travelers as well. We fully expect a full house on their side of the field, right. and so that's going to add so much to <coughs> the ambiance and so much of to the to the effect of the game. Um, you got to think. You got to figure. Both teams are going to feed off of that. You know what I mean? You, yeah, you're, absolutely. So so, um, so you're going to see. I think I think they're if, if they're if there's possible, I think that you're going to see. A, a raise in level and the intensity, and as far as and as far as the the quality of the play will be just as higher because of that atmosphere that's being played with it. Yeah, it should be a great atmosphere. Um, it, it should be a packed house. There is obviously a lot of buzz buzz about the game. You know, from, you know them having like I said, I think it's probably their strongest team they've had in the last twenty years, and um, they seem to have it have it, have it all figured out on on all three phases of the game. So like like, like I said, we're going to be very sharp. Um, in our kicking game, and I'm sure they have going to have some things ready for us in the kicking game, and uh, we have to be sharp on defense and obviously on offense. We're going to have to score some points. No doubt, no doubt. So once again, Friday night here in Venice, Powell Davis Stadium, 7:30 kickoff, Venice Indians versus Riverview Rams, and uh, again, we mentioned how much is at stake, but uh, it'll be a great game, and hopefully everybody comes out there and enjoys the contest. With that, we'll take our final break of the night, come back, and do a little wrap up on the game on Friday, and maybe. Uh, how you can watch it other ways and we'll kind of get everything wrapped up for you guys to get ready for the big one on Friday. We'll see you back here at Bogies in a minute. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here with the John Peacock Coaches Show. And Coach, we always talk about what we eat. We have to tell everybody we ate a bogey. I had a salad again. That I, good. I went, I went with a wrap, which was really good. But I, I, I'm just – I had a rough weekend at the golf tournament. I didn't eat right there. <laughs> then I decided to compound it by going and getting some Every weekend pizza. I have rough. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I, 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 I had spinach with my wrap, so it made me feel better about yeah. myself. But uh, come down to bogeys and try anything and everything, from the burgers, the wings. Always underrated is their pizzas. They do make some good pizzas. Oh, they have really good pizzas. Here. Pizzas yes, and, and calzones are fantastic. So don't forget to come by bogeys. And, uh, again, Coach, we're going to see a little bit more. Mm, bar is a little more crowded. Table's a little more crowded. So definitely people are getting out and about, and it's football season. So, you know, people are going to be coming to places just like bogeys to come watch some games and then enjoying themselves. With that, again, Friday night, you, you mentioned it. I think we can't overstate it, but it's a big game, and uh, we want everybody there. If we can, yeah, get. bigger, biggest crowd we can, and uh, make some noise, and uh, really just kind of give us a little bit of advantage, um, you know. Yeah, and we have a little light show. We kind of, we kind of yeah, referenced yeah. it. So now we're trying to, you know, a lot of things are, are now are flickering lights on. Back in the day, you turn the stadium light on and off took 25 yeah, minutes yeah, to come back on. Yeah, wait till they warm up. Yeah. So now it's like flip, flipping a light switch in your in your house. Yeah. And so uh, with these different lights, they have little things that can flicker and do whatever. Yeah. So if everybody, don't worry, it's not. If you come to the game for the first time and the lights are flickering. We're doing it on purpose. Hopefully, hopefully it's flickering a lot. <laughs> a lot we want a lot of flickering. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Um, also, if, if you can't make it to the game, obviously we have the, we have the uh, the live stream with yep. the VSN network, uh, Vibrant Aspect Media. So if you are inclined to stay home and you can't make it for whatever reason, you can watch it uh, from your from your house, and it's a, a great quality broadcast as in regards to the how it looks. What I say and do can can vary, obviously, but it is a lot of fun. And we'll have Trey Burton with me this week to, to be in my call. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. So, so Trey will be there, and we'll uh, get some get some in input from him as well. Any final thoughts uh, as far as Friday night's concerned? No, you know, I just hopefully everyone comes out, supports us, and uh, it's going to be a great game. And I can tell you that there's a there's been you know I've been doing this for you know this is year Seven, 18, 17. 17? I think 17. Um, yeah. And this is probably the biggest buzz that we've had. About a Riverview game, regular to be season, with you. And earlier yeah. in the year too, yeah. which is another reason why it's coming off that. This so. is b big buzz about about this game, and um, it's going to be an exciting one. Yeah, no doubt about it. So again, if you can't make it or you can make it, please be out there support us, and you know we're always we always appreciate that from the fan base. Yes. With that, I'm John Masoni for Coach John Peacock. We'll see you in here next time on the John Peacock Coaches Show. What time is